Well, it started off pretty interesting. Late Night with the Devil. Just got a chance to check that out last night. These are my thoughts about this movie. Uh, it actually comes from the producers of Paranormal Activity and Barbarian, which are actually uh, really good movies, actually. Uh, I'll say this. It started off really good. It was really, really interesting. It, it really got my attention. I thought it was pretty clever. The beginning of it started off pretty, pretty clever. It's about a late night TV host from the 70s attempting to boost his ratings by bringing on some special guests, a psychic, a possessed young girl and a skeptic. I mean, what can happen with that group? It actually felt like I was watching a late night television show. So I'll definitely give Late Night with the Devil A for effort. Now, the movie's really about a found footage tape of a long lost episode from back in the 70s. And like I said, in the beginning, it really got my attention. I mean, it really from the beginning, it just really just grabs you. The story's really, really cool. You just can't wait to see what's going to happen next. They did a really good job of getting everything set up. I think the dialogue was really, really interesting. Uh, the way the characters connected and spoke to each other and, and just the whole story of, of really trying to come up with a really good concept show to really boost the ratings because the, the host, his ratings have been slumping for a while. And so this episode is going to be like his redemption. I, I'm back. You know, the, the, the Nielsen ratings are coming out or whatever. So they're really trying to make a big impact with this episode to get their ratings back. And so they want to bring on horror and, you know, some weird things actually happen. Now, this is a shutter movie. And, uh, and of course, if it's a shutter movie, the budget's going to be a little bit limited, but I've actually seen some really good shutter movies in the past. Now I'll say that this movie, I, I really liked it. I, I think overall, I liked it overall. It really caught my attention. I wanted to know more. I wanted to see more really up until about the third act. After, you know, when the third act came about the, near the ending of the movie, it started kind of going into a little bit of a, a different direction. So it really it really started to lose me near the end of the movie, especially the last the last scene. So it, it really it kind of got a little corny at the end. I think the beginning right there in the beginning was great. I think the middle was very interesting. But right there near the end, you kind of lost me. I mean, you had me. I was, I bought into it. <laughs> I was excited about it. And, and sometimes I, I like the, you know, the independent movies or what have you. And I love the concept of what they did. I think they did a lot of great things with this movie. So I don't want to say that it's a bad movie because I don't think it's a bad movie, but it, it, it could have done, it had opportunity to do more. Very interesting concept. It was very, a very smart concept, maybe with a bigger budget it could have went in a different direction. Maybe they could have done some different things, but I, I think it was very clever on, on what they did. It really, I liked the whole concept of the late night show and, and the behind the scenes of the, them going, break into what well, the going to the commercial breaks and all that stuff. I think it was really, really cool. I think it was very, very clever on how they did it. Maybe with a little bit more, more funding, maybe it could have been, it could have been a little bit better near the end, but the way they set it up, was was really really cool so i really appreciate that 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 was cool i like that part i like the concept of it all and um, never seen anything like that you know before so that was interesting one thing i will say you know even with it being a bigger a bigger budget maybe making a few changes the, the movie really leaned into what it was it didn't try to be anything else it was a late night show with a young possessed girl, a psychic and a skeptic. And of course the host and the audience and everything and that whole dynamic. So it, it, it stayed in that lane. It, it, it didn't move from that lane and, and just all the things that happened, you know, while the guests were doing what they were brought on the show to do. So it was, it was really, really interesting. You know, it, again, it was a late night show from the seventies. So if you take that with a grain of salt, that's what you're going to see. And just you're, just you're going to see some some weird things happening while they're shooting as well. Again, like I said, I think the ending could have been better, but of course you'll you'll see what I mean. You, you'll you'll know. Oh, when you watch it, you'll be. Oh, that's what Steve was talking about. So 
just check that out. This movie, it, of course, as I'm making this this video, it's actually in theaters, but it's going to be coming to Shutter really soon. I'm not sure what 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 time that's going to be, but I think probably some. This is April as I'm making this video, so I think by the end of April it's going to be on on Shutter for you can actually watch on streaming as well. If you're a horror fan, you love horror, you like things that are different, go check it out. I think you'll like it overall. I think it's very interesting. Like I said, the beginning, I, I just liked how they set everything up. It was really, really interesting. It really caught me, caught my attention for sure. Question, have you seen Late Night with the Devil? Would love to hear your thoughts about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? You know, what were your thoughts about it? Did you like the ending? Did you understand the ending? Did you like the beginning and how it all set up? Did you like the characters? Love to hear your thoughts. Comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you get reminded when we upload new videos with new reviews and all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace out.